Welcome back to the Red Carpet Rea. So Big Sean's been having a bit of a moment lately, and no, it's not because he's dropped another fire track or accidentally posted a meme he shouldn't have. Nope. He's been having a very emotional Instagram live session about his upcoming album, Better Me Than You. And let me tell you, it's like watching a soap opera with a really great soundtrack. <laughs> so grab some popcorn because we're diving into Big Sean's emotional roller coaster and all the juicy details about his latest album. First up, let's talk tears. Big Sean got super real on Instagram Live, breaking down about his struggles with overthinking and the pressures of making his album. Picture this, Big Sean sitting there, getting all choked up, telling us about how he's a chronic overthinker and a constant worker. He admitted that it's been tough and that his faith has been seriously tested. So yeah, not your typical, hey, check out my new album promo. This is more like, let's all have a therapy session together. And then, of course, there's the album delay drama. Originally slated for August 9th, Better Me Than You is now dropping this Friday, August 30th. Why the delay well big sean caught covid and decided to push it back classic move right just when you think you've got everything planned out life throws you a curveball sean's also hinted that the album will be like a buffet of his emotions pressure clarity happiness and all of that good stuff i've been off the covid pack so niggas looking <laughs> and the album pack album mode nigga Yo. <sighs> What's up, Billboard? Yo. Man, I wanted to give you guys <clears throat> An album update. <laughs> <coughs> that COVID fucked me up last week. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I'm, I'm not contagious no more. But that shit, I thought it was supposed to be a lighter strand, and that bitch had me down. You know what I'm saying? And I had a lot of plans because originally I, I was gonna drop my album this week. You know, and um, I am a chronic overthinker to all my overthinkers in this bitch. I'm a chronic overthinker. I'm a chronic, constant worker, you know, and I've been having a hard time lately. Straight up, it has not been easy. Um, But it's, you know, it's worth it. The whole concept of the album, though, is like better me than you. So it's like when you go through your shit, it's like you the one who can handle it. So that's the concept of the album. So that's why I always remember, like, because it gets hard, you know. Your faith get tested, for sure. People can, um, you know, when you make art, <laughs> you put your heart into this shit, so. Um, I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> Had to gather myself. You know, but 
like I was saying, when you make art, you put a lot into it. And, you know, I definitely am a chronic overworker, overthinker, and I've been dedicating a lot of my life to it. And um, it definitely, it. I don't really like, try and read into what people ever say, too. It's like, it's hard because you do care about your shit, so... You know, I try and stay focused on the path of keeping the the music focused on what I want to do, no matter what people think. So it's like, sometimes if you read into too much shit, like the internet can suck the fun out of it. Just anything you do. So it's just like, as an artist, expressing yourself is just important to me to stay on that path. And um, so when I had COVID last week, I was down and I was like still working on the album. I was supposed to Ben turn the uh Ben turn the album in and I'm working on new music, you know. I don't wanna like there's a whole bunch of songs that I have that I wanted to put on this album too. Like I got a song with Fantasia that's fire. Some soulful shit. Bugs did that the sample isn't clear. engineer calling me i got i had you know something with uh that was for 2088 part two that was that i would thought fit my album more but it's just not all the way finished and then even i had another one with another person um that i collab with frequently that she sent me and it was fire and i wanted to put on this album too but it's just not done right and i could keep working i could keep working i could keep doing it and Last week, I was forced to stop, obviously, because I had COVID, and it like threw a wrench in all my plans. Because last time I dropped the album, it was COVID. <clears throat> and ironically, I got COVID now. So it's like, I was excited to like plan my release parties. I was excited to do all of that uh, last week. So... Then I uh, was talking to, when we were giving my son a bath last night, me and Janae, my mom called me and um, she was just like giving me them words. And I was just like, look, I could keep working on some shit always and make it exactly how I want it. And it, I'll be pushing it back forever. Or I could believe in the fire ass work that I got right now. And that's what I'm gonna do, so. The album is dropping this week. And, um, you know, I appreciate my mom for being like that guardian angel, always like giving me that advice for real. And, um, she really taught me through it for real. And, uh, like I said, I ain't been sleeping a lot. I've been like kind of like just giving, getting, you know, tired. But I do do this shit for the people who fuck with me. You know, I do do it for the fans. I do it for, you know, with the power of Jesus Christ too, for real. And like all my angels, you know, so I'm excited. And that's one thing my mom said. She said, yo, get excited. Like drop your album is fire, you know? And everyone around me keeps saying that. So it's dropping this week. And, um, and so look, I'm going to New York. And I got like some listening party. I'm doing like a listening party there. We ain't announced it yet, but I'm doing a listening party in New York. I'm doing one back out west, and I'm and then we also doing a special event in Detroit. I really wish I could have like turned up Little Caesars Arena or some wow for Detroit and turned that bitch upside down for a listening party. I don't know if it's time for that. I don't know whatever, but what I can tell you is that this album, Better Meeting You, is definitely all the different layers of me is definitely like um it's definitely just multi-faceted it's you know broken up into four different categories of music to me at least and the categories are more motion based not like genre based so it's like you got the pressure songs and then you got the focus the um 
clarity and then the happiness. You know what I mean? So I do this shit for whoever fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? I do it for like my quote unquote fans, my family. Um, it's some good quality music and I'm excited to give it to y'all. And I realized that I'm going to just keep feeding it too. You know, like the songs that I feel like still need to be on there. Like there's an outro idea I'm still working on that. Even if it don't drop this week, like I, I could just add it on, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really like doing that type shit. But at the same time, this album is like a liter literally has a feeling of like a a living thing. You know what I'm saying? So something that just can keep growing and growing and growing. And that's why I feel like I ain't want to push it back. I ain't want to like keep going and keep because some of these songs need to come out now, I feel like. So I just want to thank everybody who's been a part of it. And... You know, everybody who been fucking with me and yeah, the album dropping this week. All right. What's up? <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. Let's go. He's even considering adding a little something extra after its release. Sounds like he's keeping it fresh or just really indecisive. Who knows? And here's the cherry on top. An unfinished version of the album leaked last month. Apparently, a Kanye West fan decided to drop the album early because, well, why not stir up some drama? Big Sean's not buying it, though. He's pretty sure Kanye wouldn't pull a stunt like that despite their past issues. He even said that it was a bunch of bullshit and that leaking someone's work is just not cool. So add this to the list of reasons Big Sean might need a a little more therapy so there you have it big sean's latest album is dropping this friday and it's been a wild ride getting there from emotional breakdowns to album delays and leaked tracks this release has been anything but ordinary make sure to check out better me than you and see if big sean's emotional journey resonates with you as much as his live session did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe for more updates and drop a comment with your thoughts on sean's latest drama until next time stay tuned